In today's video, I'm going to go through the five or six different steps that you guys need to be aware of if you're a beginner that's looking to make money online with your own affiliate marketing website moving into 2023 and beyond. The steps that I'm going to go through is what I've used with a lot of the affiliate marketing websites that I've built up over the years in various different categories. And it's the same steps that I still use with a lot of the new affiliate marketing websites that I've built recently. Now, as you can see with one of the affiliate marketing networks that I use, I was able to bring in almost £4,000 in the last month by following the exact same steps that I'm going to go through in today's video. So you need to make sure that you stick around from start to finish so that you don't miss anything that could potentially change your life. And as always, I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get right into it. If you find any value in this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification. Let's get right into the video. All right. So first things first, what exactly is the definition of an affiliate marketing website for anyone that's new to this term and has never heard of it before? So firstly, let's look at the definition of what affiliate marketing is. So affiliate marketing is simply where you're going to refer customers to a another company's product or service. And if that customer buys the item from them, that company is going to pay you a commission every single time. And an affiliate marketing website is simply where you're going to build a website with the intentions of potentially making money through affiliate marketing, as well as some other methods as well. And one of the most common forms of an affiliate marketing website is a blog website. So in today's video, I'm going to go through a lot of the basic things that you guys need to know if you're looking to make money with affiliate marketing by building your own blog website. All right. So one of the first things that you need to be aware of and one of the first steps that you need to take is that you need to decide on a profitable niche because when it comes to building an affiliate marketing website there's so many different categories that you can base your website around for example home and garden babies pet care however in my opinion the most profitable niches out there are things like cryptocurrency personal finance investing making money online online business these are the type of categories that tend to make a lot more money but at the same time you want to make sure that you go with a niche that you're going to be able to make a decent amount of money but at the same time you have a certain amount of knowledge on that topic so that you're going to be able to build your website in the right way. So as I said earlier, I've got a couple of different websites in a couple of different categories, but one of the recent websites that I recently built is this one right here, which is successwithbusiness.com. And the main aim with this website is to provide as much free value as possible in the world of online business, where I'm going to be releasing maybe four or five different blog articles every single week. As you can see right here, the topics that I'm going to be talking about is eBay dropshipping, e-commerce tips for beginners. Can you still make money with dropshipping in 2023, how to become a merchant through Amazon, etc, etc. From this website, I'm going to be able to, as I said already, provide value to people with all of the knowledge that I've built up over the years in online business, but I'm also going to be able to make affiliate commissions when it comes to referring people to the right softwares and the right programs that they need to be using for their online business. So firstly, you need to make sure that you pick a niche that you've got knowledge about so that you're going to be able to provide excellent value to your readers, but you also want to make sure that it's a profitable niche so that you're going to be able to make money for your business so that you can now reinvest back into your website if that's what you want to do. And when it comes to actually building the design of your website, like as you can see with my website right here, there's two main ways that you can do it. You can either do it yourself if you believe that you've got really good design skills, or if you feel like you don't necessarily have the right skills when it comes to graphic design and making your website look really good. You can go onto a website like upwork.com to find a freelancer that's going to be able to do it for you for fairly cheap. Because you have to remember that if you're going to try and do it yourself, but you're not really that good, you may not do it to the right specifications of what Google's expecting, which means that if Google goes through your website and they see that there's some sort of issue with the text size or maybe there's an issue with one of your links, they may not rank it on Google, which is going to affect the amount of traffic that you can get. So one thing that I always advise beginners to do is to go into a website like freelancer.com, maybe Upwork, find a freelancer that's going to be able to do it for maybe $150, $200. That way, you know that you're going to be able to build a really good website that your readers or your visitors are actually going to enjoy, which means that the longer that they stay on your website, the more Google is going to push it out to more people and your chances of being able to make affiliate commissions are going to be increased. All right, so once you finish designing your website, you're happy with exactly how it looks. What you now need to do is figure out how you're going to get the affiliate links for people to click on them in the first place. And one of the best ways that I like to do it is by going onto an affiliate marketing network, for example, PartnerStack or even Impact. And an affiliate marketing network is simply a place where various different companies all around the world promote their affiliate program so that you can go on there, sign up for it, get your link and have everything in one place. So for example, if we take a look at PartnerStack, there's so many different categories and it's mainly focused on business centered categories. For example, social media, human resources, sales, marketing, accounting, etc. So let's say, for example, I was looking to write various different articles about the top 10 accounting programs on PartnerStack at the moment. What I would do is that I'll do research on figuring out exactly which programs right here are the best ones for me to promote. And I'm also going to be looking at the amount of commission that I could potentially earn. So for example, there's this company right here that's called CapChase. Now I've never heard of them before, but it says that we're going to be able to 
earn up to $3,000 every single time that we refer a company to become one of their customers. So imagine if you're able to refer, let's say 10 different customers over a period of a year, you're gonna be able to make $30,000 just from this one affiliate program. And there's so many others that you can go with. And it's just gonna be a case of writing various different articles and including your affiliate links for all of these different programs wherever you can. But you have to remember that the number one rule to start in an affiliate marketing website that's allowed me to see success over the years is that you wanna make sure that you're not spamming your readers with a bunch of links every single time they come to your website. For me personally, I don't like to obsess over making affiliate commissions. I would rather provide as much really good, high quality, free value as possible for my readers so that I'm able to build up a loyal following of people that are looking forward to my articles on a regular basis. But of course, if I'm able to see that there's a software or a product that my audience or my readers are gonna benefit from and I'm also able to provide them with a discount that they wouldn't normally get if they went directly to the website and they can save money and I can also make a commission too, whether it's on PartnerStack, whether it's on something like impact.com, then of course I'm gonna write an article about it, letting them know exactly how the product or software works whilst also putting my affiliate link in the article as well. So you need to remember that when you do go away and you build your affiliate marketing business, you try and make it a win-win for yourself as well as your readers because this is going to allow you to have long-term success. So moving on to one of the final things that I want to leave you guys with is how exactly are you going to get people onto your website in the first place? And there's two main ways that you can do it. Number one is by ranking on Google and number two is by using social media. And in my opinion, I believe that you should be focused on doing both. Now, when it comes to ranking on Google, this is where you're gonna rank for specific keywords. And of course, this is gonna take some time for you to actually show up on the first page of Google, depending on how you do your SEO, which is search engine optimization. And I've got many more videos coming out on which softwares are the best ones to use when it comes to getting your blog article or your affiliate marketing website ranked as highly as possible. But you also wanna make sure that you're taking advantage of the fact that social media is currently free, which means that you're gonna be able to make content on platforms like YouTube, YouTube, Instagram, even TikTok. And the people that are interested in learning more about whatever you talk about in terms of your category or your topic, they're gonna to be able to now get redirected to your affiliate marketing website. Now, it is important that you remember that building an affiliate marketing website is a long-term game and it's gonna take time when it comes to publishing as many blog articles as possible and just building up an audience in general. But for those of you out there that are willing to continue to put in the work, make sure that you put in as much effort as possible within, let's say six months, seven months, you're gonna be able to start making at least a couple thousand dollars every single month. Now I've got many more videos coming out real soon that's going to break down some other tips and tricks that you guys need to be aware of when it comes to making money with affiliate marketing. So make sure if you want to see those type of videos, you press the like button so I know what type of content you guys want to see. Don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when those videos have been released. And if you want to sign up to my completely free email newsletter where twice a week, I'm going to personally send you out an email with something to do with making money online, whether it's an email about dropshipping, eBay, Shopify, Amazon, affiliate marketing, in, just generally making money online emails, make sure that you sign up for that newsletter by clicking the first link in the description down below. Or if you ever watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I broke down some other useful tips when it comes to making money with affiliate marketing that I didn't really go into in today's video, then make sure you click the link right there. Check that video out straight after this one because it's already helped out thousands of people and I'm sure that it's going to help you out too. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.